Okay, quick note. I am referencing this tutorial quite a bit. You can check out this link for more detailed information about the tools that I'm using. So I assume this is the solution you're looking for. I have two options that will transition me to other levels, rest and study. When I click on rest, it tells me I have to study first. I click on study and transition to the study level. The variable changes. I am now able to click on rest. To complete the loop, I can no longer rest and I need to study to rest again. So how does this work? I have three levels that I'm using. The title screen, level 1, which is the study level, and level 2, which is the rest level. I made a variable called new level and set it as a system variable. Setting it as a system variable is important if you want the game to consistently remember its value. I've displayed the variable in the game with the variable update component under the name new level just to show it in game for now. The study button leads to the label at the start of level 1. So we go to level 1. We have a scene update to get rid of the buttons. Here the character studies. Then I use the variable setting parameter to set the new level variable to 1. The variable new level changes from nothing to 1. We go back to title screen. The rest button leads to the label at the start of the condition parameter stack called rest. The condition says sf new level equals, so sf means system variable. New level is the name of the variable I am calling. Double equals means equals. The one at the end is the number the condition parameter is looking for. So to translate this entire stack, it means the transition parameter to play level 2 will activate only if the system variable called next level is exactly 1. Otherwise, write the text, I feel like I should study more. From here, we go to level 2, the character rests, the variable changes to 0, we return to the title screen, the rest button no longer works again. There, hope it helped.